What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So yesterday, we did a showcase for the Fizz Vegeta's Extreme Z Awakening. In case you missed it, I'll put a link above my head, so feel free to go check it out. But today, we're going to be taking a look at his counterpart, the Tech Kauken Goku. Now, as I'm sure many of you already know, these two units are very similar in a lot of ways with a few important differences. So with that said, we're going to quickly go over the details for this Kauken Goku. If you guys already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute and we'll get into the gameplay. Okay, so starting with his leader skill, it's Goku's family, category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%, or tech types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. His super attack greatly raises attack, raises defense, and causes supreme damage, and his passive is key plus 1 at the start of each turn, and defense plus 70% when there is a Vegeta's family category enemy, attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, key plus 7, and attack plus 70% when HP is 70% or less, and finally, chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% per tech key sphere obtained, up to 30%. So the major difference between the Goku and the Vegeta is that uh, Vegeta gets key plus 1 at the start of each turn and attack plus 70% when facing Goku's family category, category enemies. So if both these units have their passives activated like Goku is facing Vegeta's family and Vegeta is facing Goku's family, then obviously Vegeta is going to be the harder hitter to start, whereas Goku is going to be the better tank to start. But of course, both of them are, you know, greatly raising attack and raising defense with every super. So over the course of a long event, they're both going to be very tanky units and also really good damage dealers. And uh, from there, the links are Z Fighters, All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, uh, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Orbin the Flash, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Goku's Family, Pure Saiyan's Full Power, Kamehameha, Final Trump Card, and All Out Struggle. So there you go, that is everything you need to know about this Kaioken Goku. And uh, we're going to jump in here to the uh, Vegeta's Family stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history with a Goku's Family team. And this rotation is basically as good as it gets. We got Goku with the double support starting with 109,664 defense, which is actually amazing because uh, as you guys know, he is stacking defense with every single super. So, uh, you know, later on, we should be able to get over 200k plus defense. And also keep in mind that uh, he gets an additional 100% attack and defense when he supers. So he should be very tanky already at this point. So the attack goes up to 2.3, just under 2.4 million, which is okay, which is pretty decent. But obviously, if you guys saw the Vegeta showcase, I think on the first turn, Vegeta got 3.5 or 3.6 million attack. So there's a pretty noticeable difference in uh, damage output to start. But like I said, you know, he's stacking attack and defense every single super. Sometimes we can get the double super on a turn, so we stack twice. So even though like his initial damage output, you know, could be better, it's not the most impressive, uh, he will hit pretty hard later on, especially if we manage to fall below 70% HP and get that additional 70% um, you know, attack, then he will be putting out pretty comparable numbers to Vegeta. And of course, for the Vegeta side, um, I think he only started with like maybe 50k defense. So I guess, yeah, Goku is definitely the more dependable defender, right? Like for uh, certain events that are not as long, you might want to bring Goku since uh, he has more defense to start. Actually, that's not as important. The most important thing, of course, is like who you're facing, right? So if you're facing more Goku's family, then obviously the Goku is going to be... Uh, or rather, the Vegeta is going to be the better choice. And if you're facing more Vegeta's family, then the Goku is going to be the better choice. So it's all very situational, I guess. But uh, yeah, here we are. We're on the second turn here. And we lost one support, but we did super last turn. So now we have 114,000 defense. And uh, even though there's two attacks in the front, since we have the damage, or rather the uh, type advantage, I'm not going to be too worried about taking a lot of damage. But uh, let's see what kind of tanking we can do nonetheless. I want to get supered actually. 
Because I want to see, like, how well he takes a super. But uh, sometimes, like, it, with these videos, it just doesn't work out. Because you never know where the super is going to come from. Yeah, no super still. But on the bright side, every single normal attack we took was uh, double digits. Even on the first turn, right? When we're facing the King Vegeta, who was Int. And I know that guy hits really hard because uh, recently I did a run on this stage where I think he hit my uh, Goku and Gohan for like 250,000 with a super or something like that. So the fact that we were able to tank um, you know, that well is definitely a good sign. Um, one thing to keep in mind, of course, is that he is definitely better as a second slot unit. The reason I've been putting him in the first slot is because like I wanna have him take as many attacks as possible just to see like how much damage he's taking but if you're doing like super bad road for example I would definitely recommend to put him in the second slot since he gets much more defense after he supers compared to before he supers um that's actually one issue that I've noticed with a lot of new units and also extreme Z awakenings like there's many many units we get these days that that are just not as good in the first slot, right? Like we're running into this problem where like almost every unit that we get is better in the second slot compared to the first slot. We need like more first slot units, you know? But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. It's not important. Maybe I'll make another video about it or something. But uh, for now, let's focus on the Vegeta defense up to 133,000. I'm really hoping to get some more additionals here or some additionals period, because I don't think we've had a single additional attack in the showcase yet. I did give him a skill orb too, so he has a 36% chance to additional. And so far, he hasn't done that, which is kind of annoying. <sighs> Come on, yo. Game's gotta be trolling me. Game's gotta be trolling me. I asked for additional, like, hey, here, take that additional. Additional normal attack, though. <laughs> That sucks. Um, if you guys watched my video last time, right? I messed up my Vegeta. I really did. He had, uh, you know, maxed out like crit in his hidden potential, as opposed to. Hold on. Let me let me actually focus a little bit. I'm gonna try to take some damage actually. Um, so I'm not gonna let Goku super. I'm not gonna let this Gohan super either. And hopefully, we can actually. You know take some hits here oh thank you thank you perfect that's what i want we want to be below 70 percent we want to be below 70 percent i think we should be after taking that super and the normal right yeah, yeah we are there we go okay so now goku's below 70 percent or rather the team is below 70 percent and uh, let's just give one orb to goku um, I don't think it really matters if we heal up because I think it's counting like our HP at the start of the turn So let's see what happens now There we go. Okay, as you can see very comparable damage now to the Fizz Vegeta uh, Fizz Vegeta was putting out like 3.5 to 4, you know pretty early But he wasn't as tanky as Goku to start the event and it took him a while to actually build up his defense so uh, yeah, one is definitely more geared towards offense, and one is more geared towards defense, but they both can be very good defensively and offensively, given time. Now I totally forgot what I was talking about before we started this. Um, yo, I have no idea. What, what was I talking about? <laughs> It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. I'm not going to worry about it for now. Let's just uh, keep going with the, with the Goku Showcase. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... It's back. It's back. Uh, I messed up the hidden potential, right? Because I gave the Vegeta as much crit as possible because that's like usually the best way to go about things. But I didn't realize they were going to get Extreme Z Awakenings. Or maybe at the time it was like just something I didn't think about. And uh, now with the Extreme Z Awakening, because they're greatly raising attack, raising defense, and also getting crit chance on their passive anyways, it just doesn't make any sense at all to have like so much crit um, on their passive, right? Or sorry, on their hidden potential. But the thing that's unfortunate is I didn't have any extra dupes of uh, the Vegeta to like change his hidden potential, so I was kind of stuck. Ooh, getting supered, 124k. Yep, 
Yep, see that's what happens. That's what happens when you take a super attack late in an event before you get to super. If we had gotten hit by that super attack after Goku had supered, we probably would have taken like, you know, maybe like 50k, something like that. Nothing too bad, but yeah, you know, it's, it's all about the timing, it's all about where you put the Goku. And once again, you want to put Goku in the second slot, same thing with the Vegeta, you want to put them in the second slot so they have a chance to get that big boost of defense before they take a potential, you know, super or something like that. But uh, yeah, no, I messed up my Vegeta and there's nothing I could do about it. This Goku though, I was able to fix because I had a bunch of extra Kakan Gokus lying around. But as you can see, even though I managed to fix him, it still doesn't really matter because um, we're not getting additionals, man. Like that's, that's really upsetting. That's really upsetting. Like I bet if I, bet if I wasn't recording, okay. Did you just counter? Oh, we got the counter. I don't want the counter though. I don't want a counter right now. I want you to take a super. <laughs> um, oh, we're still below. F oh, we're okay. We're okay. Yeah, we're still below 70%. As long as we're below 70%, I'm good to go. But um, yeah, I bet if I wasn't recording, this guy would be additional attacking, additional supering every single turn. But right now, because we got the cameras on, he's just like, nah, I don't feel like it, man. I got, uh, I got stage fright or something like that. Yo, look at Gohan with that seven million attack stat. I know we're not fo we're not showcasing him, but dude, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, um, now we're below seventy. We have one hundred ninety thousand defense, pretty solid. Uh, let's just give him a tech orb here to get some more crit chance. And uh, let's see these guys' defense, 160,000, 170, oh, we're good, we're good. I mean, there's no way I'm gonna use an item anyways. I just wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, we were, we were we were safe from a potential super. All right, 95, 94, got a token attack. Let me not screw this up. Okay, there we go, there we go, perfect. This is actually like my first perfect Dokkan attack in a while. I don't know why I've been like screwing up Dokkan attacks constantly in my recent videos. Like maybe um, I just don't care enough anymore. I don't really know what it is. Okay, here we go. There we go. 3.9. No additional once again. I hate you, Goku. I really do. No, he's awesome. Great unit. Pisses me off though. <laughs> it's so frustrating, man. When like I know he 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 can like additional all the time. I've had you know runs where like a unit with level ten additional and their hidden potential will will additional like every other turn. And this guy's just like, I really don't feel like it, man. I'm just not gonna do it. So. I guess, I guess all I'll say is like, he could be better than what you see right now. Of course, he's still been pretty good. He's still been quite solid. Um, I like what I see from the damage. I like what I see from the defense. But, you know, this is like, not the most ideal run overall. Okay, so, oh, that's good. I forgot she sealed, but she sealed my uh, high school Gohan, which is totally fine. Now we did heal back up because of the Dokkan attack, so we're not going to get that additional 70% attack, but that's fine, that's fine. Alright guys, I think this is the second last stage. Uh, at this point, I'm sure you know you have a pretty good idea of what the Goku can do. Let me know actually in the comments if you didn't have an opinion before, who has impressed you more, the Goku or the Vegeta? If you did see both showcases, or maybe like, you know, you had one of them, and you didn't know what the Goku could do, then then yeah, that tell tell me like after watching both or after having experienced both, who has, you know, been the more impressive unit? I think overall the Vegeta is probably my preferred one. Yeah, I, I would say I prefer the Vegeta just because of the, you know, attack boost in the in the beginning. Um, but he is gonna be pretty squishy to start so so on defense You know it, it, on the first couple of turns. He could be a liability for sure. So you got to be careful with that 
Um, and then with the Goku, you know, I think I think the main reason a lot of people prefer the Vegeta 2 is that, you know, Goku gets his additional boost, his key, and and the defense uh, when you're facing Vegeta's family, and there's just not as many Vegeta's family enemies in the game as there are Goku's family. So for that reason, you know, Vegeta's going to be getting his boost more often than Goku as well. It's kind of like the April Fool's Goku and Vegeta situation where like the Goku's very good, the April Fool's Fizz Goku is very good, but the April Fool's AGL Vegeta is much better for multiple reasons. One of them being that, you know, he gets his additional boost from facing extreme, or rather super types, and the Goku gets his boost from facing extreme types. And there are just more super type enemies in the game compared to extreme type enemies. So, yo, know, people have been crying about Vegeta Shaft for, uh, you know, a while now, but I think these days, Goku might actually be the one that's getting the Shaft. I mean, not really, you know, every Goku is still good, but when we get these, like, dual releases, like a Goku and a Vegeta together, or like a dual EZA like this, I don't know, man. It seems like, uh, the tide is shifting a little bit. It seems like the... You know, Vegeta fanboys are taking over. Vegeta's finally getting uh, the respect he deserves, I guess. So it's okay. I mean, I love me some Vegeta. I love Goku too, but I don't mind getting, you know, really good Vegetas. So if they want to keep doing this, that's totally fine with me. Okay, can we fall below 70% one more time? Are we... I don't think we are. Oh. Yo, we're just over the threshold. We're just barely over the threshold. Well, guys, I think this is going to be it. I think this will be the final turn of the showcase. Hopefully, Goku can give us that additional super I've been looking for and end it off with a bang. Or maybe just a crit and just kill him either way. Well, I mean, we got halfway there. We got halfway there. He gave me a crit and an additional normal attack. So I'll say that's close enough and call it a day. <laughs> Not gonna ask for too much. Uh, there you go, guys. That is today's showcase. Tech Kaioken Goku for you. Um, once again, let me know who has impressed you more, Goku or Vegeta. Which one do you think is the better unit? Which one do you prefer? I'm gonna have to say Vegeta is definitely, you know, a bit higher for me than Goku, but they're both awesome. They're both monsters. There's one guy on my stream yesterday that was like, bro, why are you calling them monsters? They're not monsters. They're like above average EZAs at best. Maybe not even. And I was like, bro, you're not using them right. <laughs> you're not using them right. If you use them for their intended purpose, which is to annihilate Goku's family with Vegeta and, you know, dominate Vegeta's family with Goku, then they are amazing units, right? Outside of that, if you're not facing Goku's family or Vegeta's family, they're still good units, but obviously not as effective, right? Like for Goku, he's gonna take a little bit longer to get tanky, and then Vegeta's gonna, you know, take a little bit longer to uh, do good damage. But they're still usable very much outside of Vegeta's family and Goku's family events. But uh, yeah, guys, that is gonna be today's video. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I gotta say. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first night watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all, all my latest content. <laughs> I don't know why my brain just stopped working for like half a second. Yeah, stay up to date with all my latest content, hit that notification bell, and uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.